the new BR pistol, crazy new possibilities with landscaping, how importing may work for consoles, and a new device Epic doesn't even know about. Let's get into this secret update. Hey, first thing is not that secret. Epic should know about this, but we've got the new lock-on pistol in creative mode. Now, I should say, for all you UEFN builders out there, if you go into your content drawer under weapons, I mean, it is not here. But if you launch a session and you look in here, it is in there. I don't know why that is. So if you want it in UEFN, you have to put an item placer down and then drop the gun into it. And then you'll see in your editor, here it is in the item spawner. Now you can mess around with it in UEFN. But I want to see how this gun works. Just throw in a creature spawner here and let's see how this works. I'm just going to grab my pistol. We've got our circle here. And then as soon as we get close to him, look, it locks on him and it just hits him. I mean, that is pretty cool. I mean, wherever I'm like aiming, you can see it locks onto it. And then I'm like hitting him, even though he's like out. Like, I'm not reticled on to him. I feel like this is a gun that can be used for a lot of really cool things. All right, this next thing Epic may know about. I don't really know Epic's relationship with this. But if you look at the top of your editor under Fab Alpha, click on that. And this is where you can get a ton of new stuff. Now, the other day, Epic said that UEFN is coming to console really soon. And the number one comment you guys did is, how are we going to download assets? I believe this is how you're going to download assets. Fab, I believe, is related to Sketchfab. This is where I get most of my assets. The nice thing about about the fab tab in UEFN here is everything has been optimized for Fortnite. And you'll notice there's this packs here. I'm gonna click on that. When UEFN first launched, there was only like six packs here. And now there's a whole bunch more. Let me just download a new one. This Old West one right here is brand new. Let's just add this into our project. All we have to do is click add to content browser. I'm assuming you'll be able to do that on console as well when it comes out. You can see down on the bottom right, it's downloading reference content. And then we just wait a minute. And then over here on the left, you're gonna see this new reference content folder if you open that and now you can see all of these assets right there isn't that cool you can plop any of them in i'm just gonna bring in a few of these i don't know why guys in my editor it looks black i think that's a bug for some reason in my uefn editor when i plop these things in they have that weird black material to it which i know epic is maybe working on i've submitted that bug a while ago so we'll, we'll see what happens with that but okay i plopped some of these in i'm gonna start a session and check it out we got all of our new assets assets right here and these ones look fantastic now they're currently not actual props in fortnite like i can't select it with my phone but there's tutorials on how to convert everything into props and this looks so cool this little like rusted plow or whatever this is little i don't know what it is but now we have brand new assets that have never existed in fortnite before all through this fab tool which is directly connected to uefn i think this is how it's gonna work with console and this currently isn't like super insanely populated with things yet but i mean already like if i search chair look at all these chairs that come up these are things that are not currently in fortnite or if i want a rock just search rock and check out all these really cool different rock types and most of these are free look they're all free 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 which brings us to our next really cool new little update Epic actually made this change like a week ago but if you add a new landscape you can see we're making a new landscape here and you click on the materials you're gonna need to type in landscape right here and then you're gonna find three different landscape materials so this one right here is the one that we've been using but this one is a new material with new different styles on it now before i click on that one thing that's really cool about this i'm opening my content drawer and i'm gonna go into the fortnite and type in landscape and right here you're gonna see these three new things now if i try and click on this like i can't do that you can see it says that i can't customize these assets but if i right click and say create material instance and i can call this new landscape and then hit save and then under my content drawer look here's that new landscape so now now over here where I'm creating my new landscape, I can click here and call it new landscape. I can click on that. Look, here's this new landscape. We're gonna hit create just so we can look at it. Here's this new landscape. You can see it's a little bit darker. The cliffs are a little darker too. Let's look at the different paints. So like here's layer two. It has this really cool rocky look to it. Layer three looks more like, I don't know, like a rocky road or something. Layer four is this cool sand. Layer five, I think it's just a different, yeah, look, it looks a little bit different. You can kind of see those two together. Layer six is what? What is that this looks more like a rocky side or something Let's see can i change it over here yeah you kind of see it blends up into the mountain a little bit better i uh, kind of i don't know and then layer seven is the grass i believe so we can just paint the grass on top oh wait 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 no it's a darker grass okay there we are <laughs> more of like a marshy land let's see what it looks like in the game and look you can see our terrain here definitely has an interesting look as we go through it oh this wasn't like a different colored grass it's like water you're painting on things like you see up here here's the terrain without the 
the water on it and here's like oh that's a cool effect i kind of like that you just paint on the shiny like wetness the whole new terrain here but what's really cool about this is now i can come in and customize this do you remember this instance we made well now we can click on that and in here is where we can customize it all i have to do is find the layers you want to change and then you can change them so like let's just click on this one here we can change this now to anything in this list like let's find something really crazy all right let's do this yellow i don't even know what it is we're gonna hit save on that and check it out well that isn't yellow that is very green look at that weird green texture Does that work on anything oh, okay so you can see it kind of works going up because this is my layer one well let's change another layer we'll change layer two over here let's do something else crazy whoa 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 what about this like leaf let's put just make it a leaf and i'm actually gonna change some of the like normal and stuff let's just see what this does this could make it look really really weird let's just see all right here's our new layer two what does it look like oh my gosh oh it's because i combined it with like a wood color and you kind of see the leaves on the edges coming out that is actually kind of crazy you can really mess with this let's make a new layer i'm kind of addicted to this now i want to like see what kind of crazy landscape i can make i want to change my cliff so we're going to change my cliff to something wild there's a water noise texture let's do that we're gonna do water noise texture we're gonna make it look like the smoke okay we're gonna make it look like smoke oh, yeah let's just see what this looks like oh my gosh look at my cliffs they're so weird hold on we gotta sculpt this out let's see okay oh my gosh look at my cliffs now they got this weird look to it oh my goodness look here is the like leaf on the wall okay i gotta see what this looks like in the game okay here it is oh my gosh my terrain is out of control i mean it actually looks super cool i mean it is very blurry and it's not very good but i can just see if i messed around with this a lot more and even brought in some custom textures like this could really start to look insane now let's talk about a new device let me show you what it does so i'm running around and look oh no the foundation's following me ah, why is it following I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly and easily. If you want to see how to do this more in depth, go and watch this Richie Tunes video on his channel. He's got a really good tutorial there. One of the amazing things about UEFN is you can make your own devices in it. And I've seen a couple of videos already with this type of a device, so I'm going to show you how to use it. This is my first time even opening Verse. So Verse is really scary. Before I implemented this new device here, I hadn't even touched Verse. But let's go up here to this drop down, and we're going to do the Verse Explorer. You're going to open that up and you're gonna see i added this new test first stuff but we're gonna do a brand new one here we're just gonna right click on content and create a new verse file this is gonna be our boss device we're gonna create that and then you can see here now boss device is here we'll click on that it's gonna open up this new screen i don't even want to talk about this at all i'm not gonna go into depth into the verse but here's all of the code that we're gonna need for our boss device this is a link that richie tune sent i'm gonna put it in the description below as well but i'm gonna right click and copy all of that then come Come back here and then i'm just going to erase all the old stuff and then paste in the new stuff this is all we need here now we're done i'm gonna close this and then all i have to do is go back up to the verse tab and click build verse code boom okay that should be good there now we're gonna open up our content drawer and here you're gonna see the brand new boss device we're just gonna drag that in here and look we got a brand new device now over here on the right you're gonna see the device settings you can attach a boss prop and a zone device we're just gonna pick a prop and before I had the rock, let's actually grab Peely because, well, I mean, I'm Peely. We're going to have Peely follow us around. And then we're going to click back on the boss prop. And then you're going to see this little like pen or dropper or thing or whatever. You're just going to click on that. And you'll see now it says Coliseum statue here. It's detached to this prop. Now to activate this to start it, we need a mutator zone. So I'm just going to put that down there. Click back on the device. And then I'm going to use my little dropper on the mutator zone. And that's it. I'm going to push the changes and let's go see it work. Okay. And then here's in the game. We got to run into our mutator zone there it is oh my gosh Julie's so fast he's coming right at me you can see now he's like moving towards me he's just following me around it's so cool let's see if i can build and escape him we're building we're building oh no he comes straight through the bells ah it's like a horror game he's just following me around he's just giving me the thumbs down Julie does not approve of my builds no 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 so a brand new device made by another creator not by epic like that is so cool to me so i'm curious guys do you want to see more devices like this where i just grab the code from a creator and give it to you and we've got a cool new device that's something you want to see more of let me know in the comments below these little secret updates i think are gonna make creative massive